SDLC and its phases. What is SDLC? SDLC stands for Software Development Life Cycle and is also known as the Application Development Life Cycle. SDLC or the Software Development Life Cycle is a process that produces software with the highest quality and lowest cost in the shortest time possible. SDLC provides a well-structured flow of phases that help an organization to quickly produce high-quality software which is well-tested and ready for production use. SDLC phases. The six phases of SDLC are requirement phase, planning phase, design phase, development phase, testing phase, deployment and maintenance phase. Let's study them in detail with definition and example. Requirement phase. Definition. Requirement phase include defining the resources needed to build the project. For example, a team might develop software to control a custom manufacturing machine. The machine is a requirement in the process. Planning phase. What do we want? In this stage of the SDLC, the team determines the cost and resources required for implementing the analyzed requirements. It also details the risk involved and provides sub-plans for softening those risks. The planning phase encompasses all aspects of project and product management. It includes resource allocation, capacity planning, project scheduling, cost estimation, and provision. Design phase. How well we get what we want. This phase of the SDLC starts by turning the software specifications into a design plan called the design specification. All stakeholders then review this plan and offer feedback and suggestions. It's crucial to have a plan for collecting and incorporating stakeholder input into this document. There are two kinds of design documents developed in this phase. High-level design. It gives the architecture of the software product to be developed and is done by architects and senior developers. Low-level design. It is done by senior developers. It describes how each and every feature in the product should work and how every component should work. The outcome from this phase is high-level document and low-level document. Development phase. Let's develop what we want. At this stage, the actual development starts. It's important that every developer sticks to the agreed blueprint. Also, make sure you have proper guidelines in place about the code style and practices. For example, define a variable naming style such as camel case. This will help your team to produce organized and consistent code that is easier to understand but also to test during the next phase. Testing phase. Did we get what we want? In this stage, we test for defects and deficiencies. We fix those issues until the product meets the original specification. In short, we want to verify if the software meets the defined requirements. Deployment and maintenance phase. Let's start using what we got. At this stage, the goal is to deploy the software to the production environment so users can start using the product. However, many organizations choose to move the product to different deployment environments such as a testing or staging environment. This allows any stakeholder to safely play with the product before releasing it to the market. Besides, this allows any final mistake to be caught before releasing the product. 